We've seen lots of Qualcomm Snapdragon X-based laptops come through PC Labs over the last year, year and a half, but we haven't seen any desktops until today. We actually have two of them here on deck. Um, one is a Think Center Neo, and one is an Idea Center Mini. One's for consumers, one's for commercial. Let's take a look at both of them. So the first one we're gonna look at here is the uh, Think Center Neo 50Q QC. That's um, this little guy here. Um, small, square, looks kind of unassuming, and we've seen a lot of other Lenovo uh, mini desktops that look a lot like it, but you'll notice there's a Snapdragon X uh, sticker in the corner. Uh, based on the Snapdragon X processor, this starts at $590, and you're going to see a bunch of different configurations of it, but you can get it with um, a bunch of different memory loadouts and storage loadouts. Let's take a look inside to see what you can do with it. It's like a typical commercial mini desktop. You only have one screw. It's very simple to get inside. Uh, we've removed the screw already here. Let's take it off the lid here. Take a look at what's going on inside the uh, Think Center. So um, this is the interior, um, pretty easy to get to as you can see. Um, the ThinkCenter Neo 50Q has support for up to three M2 slots. We have uh, an uh, M2 slot over here that contains a wireless card, which is optional. Um, you have two M2 slots here for drives. One of them is filled uh, with an SSD, as you can see. Um, this system will take up to um, two one terabyte drives for a total of two terabytes inside. So pretty small scheme here. And um, as you can see over here, um, only half the interior is taken up by the CPU, cooling, and all that apparatus. Um, that stuff pops out very easily for, for cleaning. Right, the cooling scheme here is kind of interesting. We've got a blower style fan here, as you can see. Um, blows straight through this opening over here where my thumb is. And then when you replace it, it runs through the heat sink here and out the back of the system. Underneath this um, black block here is the Snapdragon X processor. So this is um, the interior of the machine. Not too much going on there that you can upgrade apart from the uh, storage and the Wi-Fi card. Doesn't appear that you can actually upgrade the RAM. The uh, uh, memory is soldered down. So let's put the top back on and take a look at the connectivity around the back. So around back here, quite a bit of connectivity for a system that's this small. It's just a, a one liter chassis, very small in volume. Um, we've got an HDMI, two display ports. One of them's on this sort of riser bracket that you might have noticed inside the system. Um, four USBs across the back, and then there's a power connector over here. In addition, we have a hardwired um, ethernet jack in case you opt to get this without Wi-Fi, because if you're installing this in a um, office where you have wired connectivity, you may want to save the money on the Wi-Fi. Around the front, one USB-A, one USB-C, pretty standard, plus a headphone jack, but pretty good connectivity for a one liter PC. So the ThinkCenter Neo 50QQC comes in SKUs that start at $590. This one um, that I have in my hand here comes with the Snapdragon X. That's not the X Plus or the X Elite that you see in a lot of the higher end uh, Qualcomm based laptops. It's the base eight core chip and uh, should be sufficient for you know, basic everyday office work. Key thing though about all of the Snapdragon X chips though is that they have a uh, NPU on them, a neural processing unit called Hexagon. And that supports up to 45 tops or uh, trillions of operations per second for AI uh, local based operations. And that's really the key thing with this machine. The thing with um, Snapdragon chips uh, of this kind is that they're very power efficient. So if you're employing them say in a office full of you know, 50, 100, 1000 of these, you're looking at power savings. But what you really would probably opt for this for is for having that local AI processing. So that Hexagon NPU I spoke about carries over to the other model that we're gonna be talking about here, which is a Idea Center Mini. Now the Idea Center Mini uh, comes in a lot of flavors with other um, chip makers chips in it. This particular one is called the 01Q8X10, and that specifically has either a Snapdragon X Plus or a Snapdragon X straight, no plus chip inside. The base model starts at $750, and that's going to come with just the straight 8-core X chip in it. So the same things apply in terms of AI local processing capabilities. You've got the 45 TOPS NPU inside. Like most Lenovo Idea Center and Think Center miniature PCs, this one is easy to pop open, just like the other one. But there's a few tricks to it. Let's take a look. So this one took a little bit of figuring out to, uh, to open up. So if you look at the system, you don't see any levers, buttons, um, screws anywhere on it. But if you go to the back, where uh, the ports are, there's a tiny button up here which you press and it pops open the top. Which doesn't look like it gives you a whole lot of access to anything, right? You just got a big sort of sheet of metal here. But after poking around it for a few minutes, we noticed that there are these two things here um, on the sides. They look almost like the dongles for um, a wireless keyboard. You press them, you hear a pop. That brings the bottom open. 
So now we've got another sort of wall of metal here to uh, address if we're trying to get inside the system. So looked around a little bit, tried to figure what to do next. We have the power supply of the system over here and there's a little lever with a tiny arrow on it. If you pull up that lever, then you pull the power supply back. you can get to the interior of the system like that. So looking at the internal upgradability of the system here, we have, like in the um, other machine that we were just looking at, um, a 30 millimeter long Wi-Fi card here in an M2 slot, and then two M2 slots for drives, 80 millimeter long, one's filled with the boot drive, one's empty for later expansion. So we've got the same um, blower style um, cooling system going on here with a blower fan here, the Snapdragon chip over here, and everything sort of flowing from here through the heat sink over here and out the back. Um, one thing that's interesting to note is the fact that we have a power supply in this unit at all. Um, the other mini PC that we were looking at a moment ago actually does not have an internal power supply and has it on the uh, cable going to the wall. So this will have just a straight um, two-prong connector going straight to a cable that goes right into the wall without a block in line. So up front on the machine we have a USB-A and a USB-C plus a headphone jack, pretty standard stuff for any mini PC. Then around back we've got an Ethernet, um, USB here and here, USB-A type, USB-C type over here, and then an HDMI and a display board. So a pretty good mix for um, typical consumer use. So the Idea Center Mini starts at 750 on Lenovo.com with the base um, Snapdragon X processor in it. As mentioned, you could also get it with uh, Snapdragon X Plus. Um, so these two machines are going to be going through the benchmark routine at PC Labs shortly. Um, the first two Snapdragon X desktops that we've seen, both are Copilot Plus PCs, which gives you access to the Microsoft amenities that it provides through its Copilot uh, program, and the 45 Tops NPU will allow a lot of that stuff to be run locally. So we'll be testing um, basic benchmarking and all kinds of other stuff in these machines, including app compatibility. Stay tuned and check out PCMag.com soon for reviews of both of these Lenovo machines.